good morning today we are going through the character analysis of the novel animal farm written by george orwell let's begin with the napoleon napoleon is the primary antagonist of the novel antagonist means person who actively opposed a pig who is one of old major's disciples along with a snowball disciples means followers at first napoleon and snowball work together to develop the ideology of animalism and spread its ideals throughout all the animals on the farm but napoleon proves to have very different goals than snowball where snowball is relatively idealistic and wants to help others napoleon soon proves himself cruel and power hungry when the conflict comes to a head over whether or not to build a windmill napoleon reveals that he has trained nine dogs to be his secret police force chase snowball of the farm and institute say totalitarian state at a animal farm totalitarian means form of government that attempts to assert total control over the lives of its citizen he maintains his rule by demanding unwavering loyalty and trust from his subjects and he achieves at least outward displays of trust through intimidation and the spread of misinformation through propaganda napoleon is often the one to make grand sinister sounding pronouncements but then always sends the big squealer around to convince everyone that napoleon is actually acting in their best interests and never in his own self interest he is especially interested in developing an educated ruling class which he does by educating the dogs and later by insisting on educating the 31 piglets he fathers in a special school house throughout the novel napoleon proves himself to be paranoid paranoid means psychiatric patient self important and unable to accept that he is wrong he blames all manner of horrible things on either snowball or the neighboring farmers by the end of the novel napoleon is undistinguishable from the humans he has denounced along he is fat powerful and begins to walk on two legs wear clothes and carry a whip in napoleon size it's a good thing that the other animals are so hungry and powerless and he insists that this state of affairs is called for in animalism he ultimately changes animal farm's name back to manor farm in a bid to make it seem more palatable to the farmers and he proves himself to be just as corrupt as his human counterparts napoleon symbolizes stalin who led the soviet union from 1930 until his death in 1953 he was a berkshire boar who became the leader of animals he is introduced in the second chapter snowball was driven away by him later on he became a dictator like johns he seldom thought about the welfare of animals and passed a luxurious life which had been forbidden by major now we are moving to the next character snowball 
Snowball is at first a friend and companion of Napoleon's. Together, Snowball and Napoleon developed the story of animalism from the ideas of old major speech. And later they distilled these ideas down into the seven commandments. Snowball is responsible for generating the maxim four legs good, two legs bad, which he teaches to the sheep and other less intelligent animals in order to give them some version of the seven commandments to repeat. Despite being the generator of this maxim, in the months after, the phrase often gets used against Snowball during Sunday meetings as the sheep often start bleating the maxim out of the blue during Snowball's speeches. It's implied that these interruptions are Napoleon's work as the two pigs develop an intense rivalry in the months after the rebellion. Snowball is somewhat of an idealistic individual. He proposes that the farm animals build a windmill in order to generate electricity, which he suggests will ultimately lead to a three-day work week. He also comes up with a variety of other schemes and groups aimed at improving the animals' lives and education status. And he also promotes spreading news of the rebellion far and wide. Despite his idealism, however, Snowball still shows himself to be willing to exploit the other animals for his own gain. As when he says nothing about it, taking the milk and apples for the pigs only. On the day that the animals were to build the windmill, Napoleon exiles Snowball by setting his attack dogs on him. After this, Snowball disappears as a character, but Napoleon continues to invoke Snowball as a nefarious figure who conspires against animal farm. Nefarious means criminal. Is in league with humans and is intent on messing everything upon the farm. Through this, Napoleon discredits Snowball's bravery and actions in the battle of the cowshed and makes it so no animal can feel any affinity for Snowball. Snowball symbolizes Trotsky, a rival of Stalin exiled from Russia and assassinated on Stalin's orders in Mexico in 1940. Like Napoleon, he is presented as a leader of animals who introduced the project of windmill and who was opposed by Napoleon. After it, he was driven away by Napoleon and he was labelled as a traitor. Next character is Boxer. Boxer is a huge gentle cart horse. Boxer isn't especially intelligent. He only learns that the first four letters of the alphabet. But all the major speech and the equality expressed in the seven commandments appeal to his generous nature. Because of this, Boxer becomes one of Napoleon and Snowball's biggest disciples as they attempt to spread the ideals of animalism to others. As Boxer is capable of making simple, easy to understand arguments to his. After the rebellion, Boxer then becomes one of the most valuable members of Animal Farm. As he is fully sold on its ideals, entirely loyal to Napoleon, 
and convinced that his hard work is absolutely essential to the success of the farm on that final point boxer is right his labor is what makes it so that the animals are able to build both attempts at their windmills to this end boxer adopts two personal mottos i will work harder and napoleon is always right through these mottos the novel shows how someone like boxer sacrifices himself to the cause at the expense of everything including his health his intellect and his possibility for advancement boxer never realizes that napoleon is the reason conditions are so poor on animal farm and he never becomes aware of his own strength or power to change anything this means that when boxer collapses he fully believes that napoleon is going to send him to a human vet and he can't read the writing on the van that comes to take him away which is a van bound for a glue factory by the time other animals alert boxer to what is going on boxer is far too weak to make any successful attempt to save himself and instead his death goes on to benefit the ruling class of pigs on animal farm boxer represents the male working class and peasants of the soviet union he was a laborious cart horse who always did hard labor to solve the problems of the farm he participated in the reconstruction of windmill he became a victim of an accident in which he was seriously injured and later on died he was very faithful to napoleon who did not care for him next character is benjamin benjamin is a jaded donkey with the skeptical view that life will always be difficult and painful jaded means bored skeptical means having an attitude of doubt because of this outlook benjamin is in surprise when the pigs corrupt the revolution and transform animal farm into a totalitarian state though his skepticism proves to be well founded and he alone among the animals seems severe of what is going on it also renters him in effective as he is unwilling to speak up or do anything to stop it he also consistently refuses to explain what is going on to his friends as when he refuses to read the seven commandments sir, to clover and elon understands what he is seeing when the animals find squealer and paint next to a broken ladder and the seven commandments sir. this comes back to haunt him when napoleon betrays boxer and sends him to the glue factory though benjamin does speak up and tell the animals what is going on it's too late to save boxer benjamin represents those who were aware of stanley's unjust and oppressive policies but did nothing to try to stop them he was a donkey who always remained neutral even in the critical situations of the farm his life seemed to be the life of a sage next character is squealer squealer is a fat pig who is a skilled orator squealer works closely with snowball and napoleon at first and later just napoleon to interpret or distill what the pigs plan 
is for the other animals. Squealer is purportedly able to convince animals of anything and he is very effective in his job. Sometimes he is effective because of the way he is able to manipulate language. Other times squealer is effective because the attack dogs accompany him. He benefits from Napoleon's rule as squealer is often tasked with addressing the animals during Sunday meetings and gets the same extensive rations as the rest of the pigs. At the end of the novel, Squealer learns to walk on two legs and he teaches the sheep the new maxim, four legs good, two legs better. He is present at the meeting between the pigs and the farmers. Squealer represents the Soviet press, which Stanley controlled throughout his rule. He was the propagandist and political courtier of Napoleon. He was able to turn black into white. Thus, he was the henchman of Napoleon. Next character is Old Major. Old Major is a revered old boar who at the beginning of the novel gathers the animals together to speak to them about what is wrong with their world. He proposes that humanity is their one true enemy. As people profit of what animals produce without producing anything themselves. And specifically in the case of Mr. Johns. Humans are cruel, unfeeling and abuse those below them. Old major speech forms the basis for animalism. A theory that Napoleon and Snowball develop in the three months after Old Major's death. Old Major dies a few months before the revolution and so never gets to see his ideas play out in the real world. But Napoleon does eventually disinter Old Major's head so that the other animals can walk past it reverently. Old Major symbolizes both Karl Marx and Vladimir Lenin, the fathers of communism. He was an old boar who was introduced in the first chapter. He made the animals aware of their rights. It was he who gave the song entitled Beast of England to the animals. He disclosed these facts in a meeting which took place in midnight. Later on he died. Next character is Clover. Clover is a gentle, motherly and powerful cart horse. She supports the revolution as she naturally takes it upon herself to protect those weaker than she is. And she recognizes this kind of communal spirit accord in the seven commandments. When animal farm begins to descend into a totalitarian state under Napoleon, however, Clover becomes dismayed. But she doesn't have the will, personality or education to resist the pigs. Clover never becomes fully literate and only learns the alphabet and so she is unable to detect changes to the seven commandments and buys into everything the pigs say. In this sense, she becomes a witness to the corruption though she only vaguely understands that something went wrong but still believes that the totalitarian state she finds herself living in must be better than life under Mr. Johns. Clover symbolizes the female working class and peasants of the Soviet Union. She was a companion of Boxer. She was illiterate, so she took the help of other animals in regarding the commandments of the farm. 
the death of boxer was a great shock to her next character is mr johns mr johns is the original owner of manor farm once a strict and fierce master in the years before the story begins mr johns became drunk careless and ineffective as well as casually cruel and arrogant mr johns's carelessness and cruelty are the final straw for the animals they instigate a rebellion when he neglects to feed them and then tries to beat them when they break into the stores of grain though mr johns attempts to take back animal farm his attempt is unsuccessful and none of the other farmers have much genuine sympathy for him mr johns symbolizes the russian tsar in the early 20th century in the beginning he was the owner of manor farm he used it to ill treat the animals he was driven away by the animals but he did not lose the courage and attacked manor farm in the attack he was assisted by neighboring farmers frederick and pilkington but when he failed in his mission he disappeared from the site next character is mr pilkington mr pilkington the gentleman farmer who owns foxwood one of animal farm's neighbors foxwood is large sprawling and old fashioned and mr pilkington himself spends more time hunting and on leisure activities than he does farming though napoleon vilifies mr pilkington at various times mr pilkington does appear to enter into an agreement to buy timber from animal farm in good faith but he rudely pulls his support for animal farm when napoleon double crosses him Mr Pilkington attends the final card game at Animal Farm and tries to cheat Napoleon Mr Pilkington represents the allies before World War 2 He was the neighboring farmer he played a very important role in the conclusion of the novel he symbolized Winston Churchill the prime minister of England Next character is Mr Frederick. Mr Frederick is the owner of the neighboring farm of Pinchfield. He is vicious, cruel and calculating. And rumors circulate that he is especially horrible to his farm animals. After suffering abuse from Napoleon, Mr Frederick ultimately purchases timber from Animal Farm. but pays for it with the counterfeit bills and days later attacks animal farm and blows up the windmill though he is successful in this endeavor he disappears from the story after this point mr frederick symbolizes the fascist germans and hitler in particular He was the owner of the farm named Pinchfield. Napoleon sold the timber of the farm to him. He committed a forgery in payment. Forgery means fake. Later on he made an attack on animal farm and destroyed windmill. Next character is the cat. cat is a greedy and self-serving farm cat she is only interested in participating in the rebellion when there is no cost or danger to do so and she is only willing to support animalism when it might help her though it implied that she doesn't truly believe in the ideology even then she parrots its ideals to try to dupe birds she would like to eat 
the cat disappears before napoleon turns animal farm into an entirely totalitarian state next we are going through moli a vain white horse who prayer to the rebellion pulls mr johnson's cart she loves sugar and wearing pretty ribbons in her mane and she never cares much for the revolution supporting it would mean she couldn't have sugar or ribbons because of this she abandons animal farm and enters into service for another human only a few months after the rebellion moli symbolizes the selfish and materialistic middle class she was a white mayor who had no connection with the revolution she had always desired to lead a comfortable life she left the farm in search of sugar and a ribbon next character is the sheep some of the least intelligent animals on animal farm they never become fully literate and can't remember the seven commandments but snowball teaches them this maxim four legs good two legs bad which they love and bleat all the time they are receptive to propaganda and follow orders without questioning anything the sheep represent the duped citizens of a totalitarian state next character is the hens an intelligent laying hens on animal farm they are initially fully behind the rebellion and the ideals of animal farm but become somewhat disillusioned and terrified when napoleon insists that they must surrender their eggs the hens rebellion is unsuccessful and nine die over the course of their five day resistance the hens correspond to the ukrainian peasants who attempted to resist stalin's five year plan and died we are going through the dogs jazzy bluebell pinger and the nine attack dogs provide the pigs with the brute force necessary to terrorize the other animals in return the dogs receive special privileges and often sit close to the pigs they don't rule but they live comfortably and get enough to eat because they support the pigs the dog symbolizes the soviet secret police jesse jesse was the name of a dog who attacked hens and sheep he always waited for the signal of napoleon bluebell bluebell was one of those three dogs who were always faithful to napoleon and whenever they got signal from napoleon they did not hesitate to attack animals pinger pinger was the name of the dog who served napoleon like jesse and bluebell he also waited for the signal of napoleon next character is muriel muriel is a white god one of the few animals who becomes fully literate while muriel doesn't correspond to any one person she can be seen as a representation of educated individuals who are able to interpret what is going on but who don't have the charisma or the power to speak their minds she was a god who helped clover in reading the commandments of the farm but she did not understand the meaning of commandments next character is moses a tame raven and mr johnson's special pet the animals dislike him because he doesn't work but many of them do believe his stories about sugar candy mountain 
a wonderful place where animals go when they die moses represent organized religion and specifically the russian orthodox church he was a tame raven who was favorite of mr johns he always talked about sugar candy mountain when the revolt took place in the farm he left the farm for some unknown place but later he came back and pigs permitted him to live in the farm next character is mr wimber the solicitor whom napoleon hires to represent animal farm to the outside world he is shrewd and calculating and by the end of the novel has done well for himself mr wimber represents the capitalists who got rich doing business with the ussr he was a mediator between human beings and animals he knew the art of an agent so in the end he came to the animal farm in a dog cart next character is minimus a pig who writes propaganda poems and songs praising napoleon and animal farm minimus represents the takeover of art by propaganda in a totalitarian state that aims to control what its citizen think he was a traditional poet who composed the poems in praise of napoleon napoleon asked the animals to sing the songs of minimus in place of the song of beast of england last character is mrs johns she is mr johns's wife we went through all the characters in the novel animal farm we will start the novel in our next class thank you